George and Dad are finishing a second or third coat of wax on the trunk. Uh, you can see the trunk line. Reg filled that with a, uh, a, a clay. What's the type of clay, Reg? High temperature clay. High temperature clay so that when the resin is setting, uh, or if you have to apply heat to it, it doesn't melt the clay. Uh, and then you can see the tape set up on the outside that covers the yellow tape which holds down the vacuum bagging material. We do it the same way we did the, uh, the flat sheet. Uh, once this is all waxed up, we'll spray it with some PVA and once the PVA dries, we'll be ready to start laying down our layers of S-glass, then the, uh, the reinforcing ribs that we have lined up here on the hood, and then we'll be putting some shredded uh, mat over that and putting the bag on it and well, then applying a vacuum. Okay, it's Wednesday afternoon. We've bagged up the, uh, the trunk lid, put the molding material on it. Uh, a couple layers of S glass, followed by uh, two layers of the uh, chopped mat, and then we put on some ribs for strengthening. You can see the raised parts. You can see my hand here too, right along here, and then across the back, and then down the other side. And then we put a whole bunch of small chopped pieces. You can see about uh, this square here. About that size, maybe a little bit larger depending on the area. Just ripped it up so you got a nice shredded edge because the shredded wheat edges uh, fold together really well and go around the curved shapes. Uh, put a couple layers of that on and then we put on, uh, did we put on a, a final layer? No, yeah. yeah, a final layer of larger. Two layers. Two layers. And then we came back along the edges with uh, this some, some S glass so we have a nice edge when it's done and then we put our bagging material over it and then uh, fought and hemmed and hawed with the plastic a little bit because we were running out of time and, and we got it to shape the way we needed to put the pump on it and by tomorrow morning we should have a mold for the trunk uh, now we're gonna move on to a, a mold for the rear window area uh, that'll probably be uh, another day or so off before we get there alright as you can see it's been about five minutes or it's the next day and we're ready to pull the mold off the trunk. It uh, looks like the PVA is doing its job really well. See the light color on the trunk here? That's where the mold is separated already. You just saw it pop there a little bit. Reg is just working on this corner and uh, the PVA is doing its job. You wax the trunk a couple times and you spray it with PVA and uh, which is a, a separation. What, what's the PVA stand for, Reg? Polyvinyl acetate. Po polyvinyl acetate and that'll separate with the mold, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, then hopefully the mold pops off as one piece and we'll be able to uh, make ourselves a really nice carbon fiber trunk lid and start cutting apart the car so we can make our drip edges for the rear molds, so the rear fender molds. And here's the mold for our trunk lid. I missed the grand finale pulling it off. We were all three kind of busy trying to get it off the car delicately. I moved it outside here. You can see the wax line where the uh, trunk lid's going to be and the, the mold has to come beyond the piece you're going to make. Uh, the wax will come off and uh, then we'll lay up carbon and honeycomb in here and vacuum form it once the uh, this part we're sure is fully cured. It should be now but we're going to give it some time out in the sun uh, to make sure it's completely cured and uh, move on to the next uh, part of the car which is going to be the fenders. Move around in here. We're going to work on the side fenders uh, rear and the uh, rear three windows. It will be uh, a three, well, three separate molds. Uh, Reg asked me if I wanted to make it in one mold, and I, I, I was like, wow, um, I don't think I'd ever be able to move that around again. So we're going to do three molds and make it easier for my small mind to understand what we're doing. <laughs> and uh, we're going to uh, also cut out our, our beautiful handmade smooth, nice trunk here that we spent so much time sanding and, and, and making absolutely perfect and dirt teching so that we can make drip edges. Let's see if you can see my right here. We're going to cut out about this far in onto the trunk lid. Look underneath and see what we need to do to put some drip edges in here because we're going to incorporate the drip edge for the trunk into the fender mold. This is the back windows of the car. Uh, vacuum bag making a mold. You see the foam and stuff on there, it's a little bit messy. We were trying to take care of some air leaks and uh, after applying all of the appropriate tape, we were still getting leaks. Uh, we spent a couple hours trying to, to chase them all down and couldn't get them. Then there's openings on the inside of the vehicle. We had to cover the windows, etc. And we had prepared for that. 
However, it appears that we are getting some internal leaks in the foam construction that's between the fiberglass in the car. Uh, we did a last ditch effort of trying to spray foam around all the seams to see if it was possible that we were getting anything around there, covering all the plastic on the outside edges and all the plastic on the inside edges up and around the car as you can see and it still didn't take care of our leaks. However, uh, we were able to press it all down and then apply the foam so when the foam hardened it should have held everything including on these tight corners here in place. We're going to find out tomorrow morning. And then today we continued on with the trunk lid. Uh, underneath this you see the uh, the trunk lid laid up on the trunk mold that you saw the other day. We've got uh, 18 layers of carbon fiber on the edges to make it a little bit thicker and then six full sheets that, that are interlaid with those 18 that cross the entire trunk surface with the honeycomb inlaid. There's a couple of raised spots on the trunk. You can see it right there in the light, I think. Yeah, right there. This is an aluminum plate, aircraft aluminum. There's one on either side. Let's see if we can see the other one. Right there. Uh, this is what we are going to mount our trunk hinges to. And tomorrow morning, we'll pull this off. We're getting excellent vacuum on this one. We're getting... Uh, uh, 30 inches of mercury, the way it looks. And uh, tomorrow morning, this should be all hard and ready to go. We'll pull it off, we'll have our piece, we'll clean it up, and we'll have a uh, carbon fiber and honeycomb trunk lid. To give it strength, if we don't put uh, something like that on it, when we put the part in the mold, it can flex. Uh, and if it flexes, it's going to take that shape because it's permanent shape, which is not really ideal. It slides out, that's why we So this takes like about, you know, two and a half minutes or something to pop one this this shape loose, right? Because it's almost flat. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the ideal world again? Oh, well, you know. See, so yeah, once we tap the wedges in around it, loosen it around the edges, then we'll pop the whole mold off, right? Yep. See what we got and flip it over and, and touch up a few spots, hopefully, and uh, then we'll be able to work on pulling apart for... Uh, Before lunch. Awesome. He's going to cut yourself. Do what I'll do right now. Yeah. And it's not a good one. Is that crack on sexually or is it breaking the model? Oh, there. Woo! Sexually. <laughs> nice. Yeah! <laughs> There's our trunk. Yeah. Sweet. Oh man, that's the trunk. That's how you do it. That's how you make a trunk. Awesome.